Welcome, everybody, to Film Review Episode 2. We are doing Darwin Thompson, my favorite running back in this year's draft class. Let me see if I can... Get this. Okay. So, he is my favorite running back. He is 5'8", 200, so he's a little small. But, but, he did rush for a 1,000 some, some odd yards and 6 yards per carry in the Mountain West Conference, I believe. But he played against... We're watching his Michigan State game now. And let's stir up. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. You put into Utah State. So, very bad college, but very talented player. If we can get a play where he played. Michigan State is bad. Jeez, look at all those missed tackles. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, that's on him. Come on. Come on. Hello. Okay, here we go. Run. Okay. So, I hate this thing. Okay. So, basically, he just gets immediately st stacked, but he's got that power, though. Um... So, that wasn't a good play on his part. Let's see. Nope, still not a run. Hate this part of this. It takes forever to find a play of them with their, like, running backs and stuff. <sighs> there we go. Here we go. So, this is the play of his. Um, so, he has this big gap right here. Alright. But, he was smart about it. Unlike Daryl Henderson, he doesn't immediately go right into the gap, which would, you know, make this guy be like, okay, gotta go there. But what he does is waits until he's about two yards away, and then he runs. It doesn't work against him, but that that's good strategy. That that tells me he, he can develop into something. And then goes down. He's very small, but very powerful runner. Another, oh, okay. on i just want to see his okay here we go okay so you can see that was a blown play on the defense um they get completely forced to the out outside side edge and then they can't get him and then you can see there's three guys here two blockers so he's got to break one tackle and he doesn't see here's the thing i haven't watched tape on him i've just seen stats so this is my first time watching tape just like okay. oh sorry guys sorry about that this is my first time watching tape on him, so the, the tape is not looking good against a good team. And that's the thing. He he was so amazing against bad teams. And that is not good in my mind. So he so you can see here, you're gonna want him to cut in, break this guy, and then cut out again. That's what you're gonna want to see. Cut out, cut in, cut out. And that is exactly what he does. Breaks the tackle and then gets gets seven yards. Okay, another play by his. Okay, you can see the hole here. He's going to have to break this tackle or get at least past him. This guy might have the angle. And let's see. Yeah, he's got to get past that guy. Oh, wait, no. There's a quarterback run. Okay. Okay, so you can see. These guys both set the edge to make sure he couldn't run. So he has pretty much wide open space here. Now, he's going to have to be fast. Ooh, okay. He got immediately tackled, but still got the touchdown. So that was good. That was a good play. Shows great power. Um, oh, another pass. I'd like to go over his pass. pass. Okay, so you can see. He has a, he has pretty large holes, but the linebackers are that good where he doesn't have holes. So he gets see, so he gets immediately stuffed. Let's see. Okay, and then that was not okay. Here we go. Reception. You can see his speed. He that guy had the angle. He still wasn't able to get him. So you see, I think he would be a good scat back max. I don't think he's gonna see. He's so athletic, but he he only played one year. 
So that's that's the that's that's the thing with him is how good is he really? Yeah, he, he played one good year in the easiest e easiest conference in the entire sport. When he played good teams like Michigan State, he didn't do super well. Um, he, I don't, man, I like him, but watching this tape, I don't like him. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll look at another game of tape to see if this is, this, if this is him, or if this is just, Michigan State is just that good. Watch another game against a good team. Okay, here we go. Good reception. Um, runs into the, Yeah. So I'm not going to put that play against him because he ran into the ref. So that doesn't count. Another reception. Okay. You can see he's so fast. Guy got the angle. Isn't able to tackle him. So. He's the first look to this quarterback. He was... So that's always good. Good, good hands. Okay, here we go. Another run. Ooh, ooh, that was a good play. Okay, so that wasn't a good play at the end, but that was a good play. Okay, so you, so you can see he just immediately jukes that guy out, and then doesn't end up gaining any yards, but ends up gains like two yards. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna look. Okay, see. Okay, we're gonna go through one more game. Okay. Let's look at um, Wyoming, San Jose, BYU, or New Mexico State. I think BYU is good. I want to I wanna look at... Uh, you know what? I know he did good in this game, so I'm going to look at who San, San Jose State. Here we go. Pause. Okay, so you can see San Jose State. This is some crappy conference. But you can see he fumbles it. Should have ran it. Okay, here we go. Let's see. No, not another, not another run again. Uh, blocking. That was a pretty good block right there. Uh, you saw that from the top of the screen. Um, number five. Uh, his size really not a good blocker. To be honest, not a good blocker. And um, here we go. Another play. Okay, so burst through the hole. Should see. Here's the thing. He should have gotten like ten yards that play. But he didn't. That was a good play design. Fake screen. Type deal. Okay, so you can see here she's got a got an okay hole. Uh, you don't want to see him cut in, cut out if he wants to gain any yards. Cuts in. Doesn't get doesn't cut out. Like I said he should have. Okay. Gains no yards again. Yeah, I'm taking Darren Thompson on my draft board. This tape is not very good on him. Yeah, he forced a ton of missed tackles, but, I mean, really, those, I mean, really, he's not forcing missed tackles here. Like, looking at the tape, this guy, may be good, you know, he may be good, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be targeting him in any, any of my drafts. Um, maybe in, like, the fourth round, as a priority free agent, I'll be looking at him. But other than that, I will not be looking at him. Any <laughs> traps? Um, and then here's the thing. Okay. Um, he is not very good at pass blocking, and that was see. Look at that. He got completely overpowered there. See, okay, so we're gonna break this guy. Oh crap! Sorry guys. Sorry. Okay, so when you look at his look at look at his stats, you're like, who? Oh, holy crap! Oh my god, he's 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 a beast, right? But then when you go watch the tape, he doesn't look like a beast. It's like um, Dwayne Haskins, you know? I don't like his tape. I don't like how he looks on tape. He he, he has so many problems, but he had such great stats. Why is that? This can't bode well for Darwin Thompson. He doesn't have, he's not a good pass blocker, and that's what got Philip Lindsay his snaps, was his pass blocking ability. I believe, we know that was, no wait, no, no, no. He was good at pass blocking, but Dev Devontae Booker was getting snaps because of his pass blocking ability over the rookies. So, okay, but like, you need to be a good pass blocker. You, you need to be. 
Um, he is only 20. Wait, hold up. He's 23 now, isn't he? Because 19 plus 3 is 22. He's 22. Um, one year experience as a senior, I believe. He is 22 years old, so he's not like some 20 year old rookie. Um, he isn't. He doesn't have the power that I thought he had, and he doesn't have the, 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 Tuka ability. He's not Tariq Cohen, which is what I thought he was when I was looking at his stats. He is not, but, um, he isn't a target to me. I guess this is hard to say. He doesn't have. The how do I? I want the thing that I cannot. We're gonna just. He isn't good, okay? So since he, I only spent ten minutes here. We're gonna go through one more player. Who do you want to see? Elijah Holyfield. See what, see what we missed from his four nine. See if he could be a steal later on. Okay, Elijah Holyfield time. Here we go. His Missouri game. Here we go. Let's go. So we're going to go into this knowing his 40. Okay. See there? He's got good power. Gets the first down. Okay. So this is, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Okay. So basically... We're gonna see in this play itself. This guy has the angle. This guy has bad angle on him. He, he's aiming. He's over pursuing. So if this guy is fast, if this guy is speed, game speed, I mean, is better than his forty time. He's going to beat him. Nope, doesn't beat him. Gains zero yards. See, looking at his tape now, you can see he is not fast. He's very, very, very slow. Even though he has the genetics to be fast. See, he cuts in. And immediately gets tackled by a defensive tackle. So yeah, we're just looking at a guy who is super slow. Great power. Okay, so here we go. Another another good play. This guy, he's getting the angle. Okay, so he's going to want to run around here. If this guy was fast. So he's going to want to run around here, actually. Okay. If he's fast, he's gonna be. Oh, he's, he's not gonna get caught. But look, he is so slow. Ooh, actually, see, that was actually a pretty good play on his part. Okay, here we go another play. So you see the juke, and then see he doesn't outrun people. He just Holyfield may actually be a good steal late in drafts. He, to be honest. Like, legitimately, even though he ran a 4 9, I know. I know, he was really slow, but it wasn't how he plays. He doesn't play slow. He looked very uptight. Up, uh, he looked very tight, and it just didn't look good. Here we go. And you're going to want to see him cut in, or or cut out all the way out. Cut in. See, see, you know what? I actually really like Holyfield. He looks like, I know, I don't value the combine highly. All right, so we're going to pause this. One second. Okay, so I don't value the combine highly. I think you all, I think I've told, said you guys said this before. I don't value the combine highly, and I think that Holyfield, he won't get very many opportunities, okay? But late in the draft, like, let's say fifth round, you want someone who is, who has at least a chance, right? He's going to have a higher chance of working out than Darwin Thompson, in my mind, all right? Now, I know Darwin Thompson's a better athlete, but game speed-wise, Elijah Holyfield looks great. He might have overstretched himself during the 40 time and then ruined it. You can see, and see, he gets caught up, but... I don't know, this is such a dilemma. I think late in drafts, he's gonna he has the highest chance of working out because he was ranked highly 
before the draft. We're going to actually go through Riley right, Ridley right, right next time, so. Um. Not a good play on his part. See, so basically, what I'm going to say is, if you want someone late in the draft who may work out, may not work out, but was productive in college. Let's, let's check his stats, actually. He went to a good school for running backs, all right? He is good size, 5'11 to 15. Um, he was, okay, a 6.4 yard per carry average, seven touchdowns, a uh, thousand yards on 159 attempts. Um, <clears throat> he got a 19 yard average against UGA. Oh, that's receiving. Okay, so basically what you're looking at is... I'd say someone who never fumbled once. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry. I really say if you want someone late, I've been saying I keep repeating myself, but if you want someone late, I'd say Holyfield or Darwin Thompson are who you should be targeting. Um, Darwin Thompson's about going in like the third round in a lot of mocks I've been seeing. Not, not like IRL box, like, um, rookie box. So, he, Holyfield, I haven't, I don't think I've seen him be drafted yet. Or if he's being drafted, he's drafted mid-fourth, late-fourth. So, I think Holyfield has, has, is, is better value where you're getting him. Um, he, he is talented. Um, so, hope you guys enjoy this video of Darren Thompson and Elijah Holyfield film breakdown. Um, I will be doing Riley Ridley next time and I will be doing who else do I want to do before the draft? Well, I want to get like a few more players done before the draft. So, who, who you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you. So I'm going Riley Ridley next. But, other than that, um, give me some you can give me some suggestions you want to see. Um, anyway. Anyway. Hope you guys had a good day. Have a good day. Um, see ya. Bye.